Alright boys, so the Guda Guda event is officially dropped over on the NA version of the game and uh, I realized I did not do an event guide for it. So I'm going to try to go ahead and put this event guide out as the event has kind of just started for like the last, what, two, three days or something like that. Um, the main takeaway for this event though is just going to be... Go get yourself uh, Kagetora. Kagetora is definitely the prize, and uh, you don't want to end up like me, where um, you pretty much beat the entire event, you leveled up your Kagetora to level 80, you got her skills out of 999, and then you realized you were literally one story chapter away from actually obtaining the servant, and so now you just have to do it all over again for no reason. But yeah, um, she's definitely the main prize for actually farming this event. Um, she is a burst, a single target, um uh lance over here i literally forgot her class it's right there dude <laughs> but like she's very 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 strong like she's capable of just kind of obliterating and overwhelming enemies uh she does a very very good job of just outputting large amounts of damage over uh in like burst turns very very strong addition to your box but aside from that this event is quite easy because literally all you're doing is you're going around and you're just conquering and building up your kingdom um, and I guess the main gimmick are these quests where you're going to go recruit the different members of your whole Guda Guda faction, right? And they all have specific little different um, bonuses that they give. And the reason this is important is that in a lot of these quests, they have like weird gimmicks, right? Like some of them have this gimmick of like, they have insanely high defense and they're like, oh, but Okita gives your entire party pierced defense, just stuff like that, right? You know, like, and the uh, wiki actually has done a really good job of updating this to show you, like, who you're supposed to actually bring. But it's really good for, like, like for instance, like the Emmy one right here, right? They have a 70% chance to dodge all of your attacks. It can be really annoying. But if you've recruited Emmy up, bada boom, bada bing, everybody gets sure hit. And then it's literally just, like, a very tiny farming note. You just literally beat them all up. It is really not that hard of a quest, right? Um, some of, like, the harder ones actually were, like, this coup one. Because this does require you to basically survive for seven turns, which can be a little more difficult if you have a bad box but thankfully they do give you ku for that and ku himself is a very good uh sustained survivability like solo servant so there's really nothing here that you shouldn't be able to do as long as you do just get the appropriate different recruited members which is not hard to fall behind on like they make it pretty obvious like oh now you're going over here let's make sure you get emia now we'll let you do the dodge quest right you may accidentally sometimes like stumble into a quest and like, oh, I didn't bring the appropriate people. They're literally like, what, like five AP or something? Or yeah, they're not even AP, right? Like they don't even cost anything, right? So it's just like, they're just really easy things. They're like you stumble into it, you're like, oh man, I lost 15 resources. That kind of sucks. But you literally get like, I don't know, like a hundred of those bare minimum with like one, two CEs for like a, a standard quest drop. So again, not super hard. Um, the challenge quest can be a little annoying, um, if you don't like, I don't know, just like bum rush this guy. Cause you can see he stacks massive amounts of defense, but just bring like Okita or something, man. Like just bring Okita and just kind of clap him up real quick because Okita does have a 50% damage mod. And as you can see over here on the girl's NP, she just innately pierces defense on that. So she can like make really quick work of a guy like this. I mean, you can like he's a little beefy right like he's got some pretty decent hp but you gotta remember she's also doing 50 percent more damage uh so she can kind of just mop this up really quickly if you don't have okita just i don't know use the free waiver you got bring a friend okita and just anybody else that can give her buffs anyone else that you do have that may have pierced defense emmy is another one that has pierced defense just anybody that can really get through the massive defense he's stacking pretty much gets around the main gimmick of the boss right where he's literally just stacking defense he does have this damage cut which can be a little bit annoying but you're piercing like half of what he's doing right and so you can actually kind of just kind of keep going along and just start clapping him uh but you do not want it to live you don't want it to like build up too much right because he will just start like stacking and stacking and stacking and then if you lose your main uh servant that's going to be doing all that damage it can get really really bad um so just make sure you're staying on top of it bringing people that can pierce defense and it's really not all that big of a problem free quests are pretty much all normal here like as you can see like aside from like the weird beginner ones that aren't hard anyway because these enemies are so small that <laughs> it just doesn't really matter they're all just going to be like normal like three 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 nodes as you guys can see they gave us a very very nice and easy event to do here for the rerun uh that's because this is just before they actually started getting to like the weird uh events that they were doing where it's like 
two enemies, one enemy, three enemy. Like, but this is before they started doing all this. And it's so nice that like, this is like the Giga node that drops everything and it's against casters. If you're not aware, casters give you the most NP refund back. Meaning if you just want to wait for like, I don't know, like, like towards the end of the event to when this unlocks to just burn all the apples you were gonna use anyway or something. Uh, this one kind of just is so good to do, right? If you can reliably do it in three turns, I mean, it's so, so nice, especially for someone like me, right? Who uh, who doesn't have double Scotty, so my Lancelot setup is a little more gimped. I'm having to use like um, people like Paracelsus and uh, Waver to plug suit in, in for certain times if he's missing a lot of NP. So this is really, really nice because Lancelot is always able to do that because Castle give you so much more NP refund back. Uh, it's really, really convenient for farming. And then obviously I've already done videos on it, but the Sony campaign is live. Um, you could, should probably skip most of these people, but I understand, um, you know, Mori is a very, very good budget, like Berserker person, just does obscene amounts of damage. Is basically like just dropping a like rabid animal or like a fox into a den of chickens, right? You know, eventually he'll get stopped by, I don't know, the farmer in that analogy. I don't know, but he's going to do some damage. He's going to go around swinging and just taking everybody out, right? He's capable of just doing mad amounts of damage. And even if you don't have Merlin, you have Chen Gong, who specifically synergizes with Buster Berserkers, which is what Mori is. So you get yourself Mori. He is a very, very strong, uh, exclusive, like limited three-star servant. So I can't understand the appeal of summoning. Um, if you are like looking for a specific day that you were like ZTL, if you had to summon, which day are you going for? I would probably go for the day that has Mao Nobu, right? Like this would probably be the one that I would summon on like these days right here, because I think Mao Nobu is going to be a little bit more useful than Okita Alter, just looking at what they're at right now. Uh, Mao Nobu is a very strong uh, AoE uh, Avenger, right? Buster, very, very good. Um, she has a Sky and Divine uh, damage mod. Specifically, she leans into being anti-divine really, really hard. So just any divine boss that we're going to come across in the future, which tends to be a lot of people, she's going to have a very, very good matchup against. Whereas Okita Alter is just kind of like, a general purpose type of servant right like she's really just kind of good for any scenario i'm really just kind of wait to see um uh, what they do with her first go when they decide to buff it and i'm really just crossing my fingers being like please just let us just give her the emmy buff where she can change her np to quick and then i'd probably say go for oki to alter but we don't have that and the knowledge we have for the next couple of years is that i think going for uh mountain Oop is going to be a little bit better leash wins not bad it's just like we're kind of drowning in really good single target uh, support, or not support, but uh, DPS art servants. And specifically, there is a free to play version of Lee Schwinn in um, uh, Kar Karna Kyokai Lady. What's her name? Shiki. Yeah, Shiki. We have her. So don't really recommend going for Lee Schwinn, especially because Shiki is free. If you don't have Shiki, like maybe there's an appeal to win, but it's like there are just better assassins to go for in the future. I would just avoid him and maybe go for like Kama in a few months. Like if you really, really need an assassin, just go for Kama because Kama is like three tiers better than this guy. Um, and then Zerk Nobu. I mean, I don't know who's going to be spe uh, summoning specifically for her, but she's on literally every banner. It's like it really shouldn't be that big of a hassle. If you want her, you might just get her by accident. But yeah, I think with all that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, come out, support the Twitch. I stream every weekday, so make sure you come out to those. Um, you want to support the channel further for free, more than just actually watching the video, which I already appreciate a lot. Uh, you can download LD Emulator and link down in the description down below. Just a very good way to uh, play mobile games over on your computer. And then I have Loot Kings, which you could join my alliance. And basically, if anybody spends money while they're in my Loot Kings alliance, uh, we all get points back for that. And then you can use those points to buy gift cards eventually. So pretty good service just to get like a little bit of extra, I guess, stuff for your purchases on FGO. But hope this guide was quick, concise, and just uh, put anybody's minds at ease that maybe I was like stressing about this event. But yeah, it's actually pretty easy. So with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys have a nice day. Peace. Late, guys.